I have my own website where I post um, uh, about hip hop music analytics on a weekly basis. If you guys are interested, you can check it out. Uh, it's called uh, hiphopinsights.com. Uh, link in the description below. And um, <laughs> at the same time, also uh, I'm doing music as well, and uh, uh, hip mostly in hip hop. And uh, my music, um, you can find me in on Spotify, on Deezer, on uh, Tidal, or Apple Music. And uh, yeah, uh, you can uh, search for me, Shavish. Finding jobs in Berlin, there are a lot of options. So uh, you have first you have all this um, list of sites that you have like LinkedIn, Indeed, uh, Stepstone, Glassdoor. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are the list of sites that you can use and mm -hmm. look at the job posting on a daily basis. If you are really looking forward to grab an opportunity. So right. it is. Um, it is always there. These these sites are always there, and it's the easiest way to find an opening. At the same same time, uh, it depends upon your interests. Like for example, you might have an interest in going into some co company. You might have an aim of uh, getting into a really uh, good company, which you have in your mind, your dream company, right? So yeah. you can make a list of it, and then you could go to the company's career page, and then yeah. you could. Find if that if there are any openings for that, because for example, it, uh, if you think about data science, then you have certain companies yeah. in your mind, ideas in your mind, uh, certain MNCs in right. your mind. So based on that, you can think about uh, what kind of mm. companies I want to go into, make a list of it, and go to the, the career page and try to apply from that. That is another option, and uh, the third option would be uh, ha going to the meetups, uh, networking with people. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially uh, from your domain and the people, uh, if you go to the meet, those kind of meetups, then you meet people having relevant ideas. So when you meet people with like, when you meet like-minded people, and it's right. easy for you to connect with them, because you guys will be talking about the same thing. And uh, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, this will create a, a really good spark or positive vibration among yourself. And this will lead yeah. you to the next level, like uh, get, right. getting a interview or getting into you into that room. Uh, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so these are the options I would say you can go for. Another thing is like, as I said, you got this internship. So can you just share what was the interview experience? What all things uh, recruiting managers or the talent attraction managers, what all things they consider when they select the candidates for internship? This comes up with confidence. So uh, initial, it's more of a behavioral part of it. You need to have that confidence when you get into that room, uh, not worrying about what kind of questions you're going to be asked or what kind of, will they uh, ask me for experience or something like this more about being confident and uh, trying to be honest as honest as possible being real is what uh, is expected in Berlin like mm -hmm. you can you can at the end of the day you can make up stories but um, <laughs> they'll just be looking for the keywords or key things or the core cool yeah. things that they want so it's being real showing yourself uh, putting yourself there and uh, yeah being honest about yourself it's more a behavioral part of it at the same time it depends upon for me i was um uh interviewing for b analyst so as a business intelligence analyst so at that time my question most of the questions that uh, popped up were from sql and a few other questions from um uh, tableau uh, tableau questions uh, uh they give me tasks, so I have to uh, finish the task within a, a stipulated time. A few of them, mm -hmm. uh, if, um, if the company is really doing well, then they might give you an uh, online test as well, So, which is will be around mm -hmm. one, one hour. Uh, but for internship, usually it's like more like a, a time task, or it might be you directly go there for an interview, and then they might yeah. give you a very simple task, um, and you have to solve uh -huh. it in front of them. So it is something like that. So it's very easy okay. for clearing that interview. Uh, initially, okay. uh, they might ask for some experience. So there are two ways you can do this. The two ways you can uh -huh. uh, get that opportunity for the interview is one is you either have in past experience in the field, for example. 
Okay. Say business intelligence analyst. Maybe you have experience working with Excel. Maybe you have experience working with SQL, or maybe you have experience working with any other visualization tool like Tableau or Looker or something like that. So, and the second thing that you need is any course that you did relevant to that. For example, uh, any course you took in Coursera or EDX or Mm -hmm. or something like that and that could also help certification courses also helps uh, at the okay. same time it helps in putting you in that room at the same time in that room you have to show the showcase your talent mm -hmm. showcase your talent yeah. in terms of the skills or the tools and uh, also uh, the knowledge that you have about that uh, mm -hmm. particular field so you have to showcase okay. that yeah. so yeah these are two ways that you can bag an option. Okay. Like if we talk about the tools, so what all tools or softwares a student should learn if he want to attend an interview for a BI analyst or a data science and management related course, if you can name few tools. Uh, there are a lot of tools in the industry right now. Like um, I can name them and it will take me three days to finish that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, the thing is there are a lot of open source tools uh, and companies startups especially go for open source tools that's uh, when you talk about tools for business intelligence that comes to my mind uh, a few tools that comes to my mind is python r uh, tableau uh, looker uh, clickview uh, excel nobody is using it right now but uh, still we can <laughs> put it there it's like a vast topic when you talk about tools mm -hmm. but uh, usually for business intelligence analysts you need to have sql skills uh, Tableau, a uh, few of the visualization tools like Tableau, uh -huh. Looker, ClickView, and um, uh, okay. you also need to have a little bit of business knowledge and uh, mm -hmm. statistics based on uh, where you are placed. So whether you might be, you also uh -huh. have a front end and a back end in terms of business intelligence analysts. So back end mostly comes into taking care of the data and making sure the data, making sure uh, uh -huh. data quality of the data and um, uh, data management side and at mm -hmm. the same time you have a front end uh, where you deal with uh, the business uh, stakeholders and uh, that comes under uh, mostly in visualizing your data okay. and uh, presenting your results to them getting some insights from the data and giving some recommendations uh, so um, yeah so it's a mix of both. You need to have management skills, visualization skills. Mm -hmm. At the same time, in the back end, you need to have certain, uh, sometimes even programming skills to crack open or be in this field of business intelligence. I have like, got this question from many of the candidates. They have this fear in mind, like if, we, if they are going into this particular kind of job roles, uh, they have to learn Python and R. So that is more kind of coding and programming. So is is that necessary for this kind of role or it is more related to visualization tools or basic tools like SQL, Excel and the others that you have mentioned? This field has a front end kind of side and a back end uh, setup as well. Uh, as you see, that's when when you talk about back end, you talk about the ETL tools, uh, extract, transform, loading tools. And you also talk about the data engineers uh, who deal with the data uh, from the source. like. One, uh, you collect a lot of data from different sources. You have campaigns, Google campaigns, you have uh, Google AdWords data, you have Facebook data, Facebook campaigns data, Outbrain, uh, Tabula data, you, all from different sources. You want to manage these data because all of them have their own formats of presenting the data, yeah. right? So from each of these sources, you have to collect those data and put them in a database or a data warehouse. Uh -huh. Uh, where you save all the information in a proper format, right? Because each one of them have their own rules and yeah, yeah, you yeah. need to define the rules for yourself and your firm so that everybody can use that data whenever they want and get insights yeah. out of it. So this role, is, this role that we are talking about is the back-end role that I'm say, talking mm -hmm. about. And those people will require uh, Python uh, skills uh, and um, Java skills, let's okay. say, because the ETL tool uh, that you use, uh, like for example, Talent, let's say Fivetran, Talent, these ETL tools that you use uh, have 
are based on those languages. So you need to have the person who is working on it need to have that knowledge of that. But the person who is working on the front end, when you talk about front end and uh, presenting your data and insights to the audience, mm-hmm. which is your stakeholders, business stakeholders, those persons yeah. need to have more like a visualization uh, tool knowledge let's say Tableau or uh, SQL for retrieving the Uh data. They have to retrieve the data and check if the data looks good and uh, whether it's consistent or not. And then they finally uh, derive insights from it and give some recommendations to the audience. And this is how role and the uh, functioning within the department Uh 